Hey, it's your still injured boy Okina over here. I got some very exciting packages in the mail today. From Amazon, and one from actually eBay. That one took a little bit longer. If you didn't know, your boy actually shoots his videos with his cell phone. That's what you're looking through right now. The bad part about that is I actually can't use my cell phone when I'm shooting videos, which is a lot. I was communicated on OfferUp the other day by a fellow shopper. He wanted to go ahead and trade his GoPro Hero 5 Black for my 360 camera. I know you might think that's a bad deal, but the 360 camera doesn't take great video up close. After getting this device, I went ahead and went shopping on eBay for a memory card. Got this one for 19 bucks. It's a pretty good one. Actually, the best type of memory card out there right now. Then I got some GoPro Hero mounts right here. The whole kit. I got it on Amazon Day, so it was pretty damn cheap. Just like my mom. If you're out there, mom, shout out. I'm going to go ahead and open up the packages and show you the contents inside. I'll go ahead and open up the memory card as well and slide it into my GoPro Hero 5 Black. No loop required. The impressive part is that this actually only cost $15 on Amazon Day. Right now, you can buy it for $21 and some change. You know your boy got that big cheddar, but I'm trying to save a buck here, and I'm very impressed with the quality of this case so far. Let's take a look at the mounts inside. You got your head mount here with some nice rubber on the side so it doesn't slip off your head. You got your clip mount. It could go on to pretty much anything. You got your wrist mount right here. It's just like it sounds. It goes around your wrist and you slide in your GoPro Hero 5. Your boy's lying to you. This is actually the wrist mount. So I'm not really sure what this is. I have to look into that later. But yes, this is the wrist mount. It goes on your wrist and it has a nice swivel to it. They really took that into consideration. Nice padding as well as a Velcro strap right here. Very quaint. Very kawaii. They included a little extender. I guess you can put this on anything and then angle it as you see necessary. These mounts go on the handlebars of your bike. Very nice. One of these cost about $10 on Amazon alone. This is a suction cup mount. I know that a lot of pro race car drivers and drifters use these type of mounts. You just put it on the side of your car, pull the lever, and it sucks. Just like my ex-girlfriend. Why did you leave me? Here's a baggie full of other mounts and clips. Funny story. I actually bought this kit because... I was trying to get this bit right here. It actually screws onto a tripod, which I'm using for my phone. Like I said at the beginning of the video, this camera is meant to improve the quality of video for this channel. And one of these babies cost you about three bucks online. I got this whole thing for three dollars. I mean, for fifteen dollars. It's quite a steal. This company meant the extra mile and included a little multi-tool. As you can see here, this one fits the nuts. Not my nuts. The camera's nuts. And this one fits the little screw-on knob. Very nice. One of the most exciting pieces we have right here. This is actually a chest mount. When I had my other GoPro Hero, back in the day, between GoPro Hero 2, I used this chest mount a lot when I was cosplaying. Yes, you heard it. Your boy Okina cosplays. Very exciting item. This bag includes 3M double-sided stick pads. The idea of these is you can go ahead and stick them anywhere, and then stick it onto these brackets, and then you can hang your camera anywhere. Very nice. And they include about five of them. Very considerate as well. A very handy item when you're going to the river or the ocean or tubing. You can actually connect this to your GoPro. I don't know if you've ever seen those scuba diving videos where the scuba divers find about five GoPros underneath water while they're scuba diving for items. 
With this, you won't be able to lose your GoPro. It'll float above water. Another great item? They include a tripod. I have my own tripod, so I won't need this one. But if I don't want to bring the big one, I can go ahead and use this cute little one. Very kawaii. One of the last items, which I didn't even know came in this set, is a selfie stick for your GoPro Hero. Very exciting. I could actually use this adapter right here to screw on, and I'll be set. It's also adjustable at the top. The absolute very last item we have is a little to-go bag. I'm guessing this is actually for your GoPro Hero. Slide it on in, then you can tighten it up. Ooh, that wasn't a sex joke. To be honest, I don't know how this company is making profit on this item. $15 and I got all this, and that's not even including the very nice case they included with everything. This was a steal, and I will recommend this. Go ahead and get it online, I'll include a link in the description down below. On to the last item, our memory card. And that'd be it for this video. This is the SanDisk Extreme Pro Micro SD card. I'm not a card expert, but after hours of reading all the forums, they say that this is the best card out there. There's also a 120 gigabyte version. I got the 64 gigabyte because I don't record long videos. Watch out for later videos. I'll be shooting in 4K. I'll go ahead and put that down in the link description below. So again, it's your boy Okina. Thanks for watching. Please consider subscribing. If you like my videos, go ahead and turn on my notification button. It really does help and give it a like. It brings my videos up in the queue so more people can see them. It's your boy Okina. I'll see you on the next episode.